this is my Pulsar NX14, which is the same watch as the NX11. Um, I've been changing the battery on this for well, about 12 years now. So every year um, the battery needs to be replaced, or the batteries need to be replaced. Um, so we've done that quite well and we've maintained the water seal. However, this time round when I looked at it, I came to screw the gasket back on. It was actually pinging out of the edges. So it's got to a stage now where if we look at the gasket, you can see that it's it's not sitting correctly in the um, in the rim. Um, it's just stretched a little bit, so it's time to replace the gasket. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, this is obviously my watch. It's very, very similar for any other um, watch that you might have. First thing we need to do is remove the old gasket. So try and be as careful as you can with, with that because we will need to measure the gasket itself. Um, take a new one. So we just take that off, lay it down, and now we need to measure um, the inside of the, the gasket which is the outside of this lip. So if I could put my calipers on there and bring those in. Uh, that's got a reading of 33.9, uh, so that's 34 mil. So we'll get a 34 mil gasket to put on there. Right, when I come to look for the replacement gaskets, what I found is measuring the diameter of it, that's fine. This original one is um, it's a flat gasket um, and the, all the replacements I can find are actually O-rings. So I'm going to use the O-ring to replace it. Um, rather than being particularly concerned about the diameter um, and the thickness of the O-ring, actually I'm just looking at the width of it and if I look at this one here, which is a 0.5 mil um, against this one, which is 0.7, so I've ordered different sizes. Um, I'm looking at it and going just visually, uh, it's the 0.7, which is a lot closer to this one. So I'm going to retrofit the 0.7. So next thing I need to do is get it greased. What we need to do now is to coat the o-ring in silicon grease. It has to be silicon grease um, because petroleum based grease will rot your o-rings um, and that will destroy the waterproofness. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put a couple of blobbers on a piece of cling film and fold the cling film over and spread it out. At this point of the game it's covering both sides of the cling film. Um, once I've got it, so there's a nice big patch of the silicon grease. I'm just going to drop the o-ring into the middle of it and give us good rub around with the grease and that'll just put a little bit of silicon grease all the way around the o-ring uh, which will help help seal the watch up. Okay next thing is to uh, fit it. Well, I've got the back of the case and then I'm just going to gently lay the o-ring down and then just using these couple of tools, tease it out so it goes, goes round and just sits over the lip. Once 
what I can see is that we've now got a nice tight um, tight fit whereas the old gasket was was very loose indeed and once that's in time Okay, that's in and down. That's fitting quite neatly over. Been using the watch now for about a week in the sea, in the swimming pool, um, diving and jumping in. Um, the water resistance is holding absolutely fine. You can see the watch is still working. So I'm perfectly happy that I can replace the flat gasket with the o-ring and it's a good enough water seal for what I need it to do um, which is general swimming um, so I'm quite happy with this so thank you very much for watching